faster help when needed the most. Things have been beyond stressful for the frontline workers across our entire country for over the past 18 months. For colleagues at Eastern Health in Newfoundland, an ai field approach to health has made the difference. Tell me a little bit about your involvement with this solution. Eva is uh, an online resource for employees that allows them to access mental health support and resources. They go on to the Eva website and they can access that anonymously 24-7, which is really important um, for trust and support, but it's an ability for people to access the support they need when they need it. Um, but the nice thing about Eva is for the people who don't know what exists, um, they go on, they have a chat conversation just like they'd be having a chat conversation with a friend, and Eva connects them with all the resources that align with their, their issue or their struggle. One in five Canadians will struggle with mental health over the course of their lifetime. Or they will know somebody who is struggling with mental health and will want to help. In the first responder community, that is even higher. A virtual agent can get people the resources and tools they need when they need them. The Eastern Health Project is very near and dear to my heart. So we built a mental health wayfinder to help the hospital workers, the ambulance worker, the nurses in the ICU. People relate differently to chatbots. By adding AI to virtual agents or chatbots, it's enabled people to speak naturally. You can just say how you're feeling. And the chatbot can use the AI to understand what you are trying to say. My role uh, at Eastern Health as a psych safety coordinator, um, I do the hands-on day-to-day uh, support and promotion of EVA uh, with all Eastern Health employees. I'm a critical care nurse or former critical care nurse and uh, so I know the toll that working in healthcare, the toll it can take on your mental health. Dealing with, uh, you know, traumatic incidents all the time, dealing with grief and death and, uh, you know, the suffering of patients and their families, that can really take a toll on your mental health. And if you don't look after your mental health, it is it's going to be impacted one way or another. I've had um, actually more than one employee, which is really nice to be able to say that I have seen safely return to the workplace because of Eva. Um, whether it's been something that they faced in the workplace and had to take some time away from work or if it was something within their personal life or in their family life because of the resources that Eva gave them, they were able to successfully return to the workplace. What makes you most proud of the Eva platform? being here today. I'm so proud of the fact that uh, we are the only healthcare organization that has something like Eva. I have had, uh, you know, employees that have reached out that their, their children were, were dealing with a lot of issues. And it's amazing, you know, when, when we're going around and talking about Eva, it's amazing how quickly people open up to you because so many people are struggling. Mm. Oh, now you're gonna make me cry. I think this project means the most to me because of the impact it had on that community. Every time I go back and I have conversations with Eastern Health, they tell me a new story of how this has helped somebody in their, their hospital or a friend of somebody who's in a hospital or a daughter of someone who's in the, of someone who works for the hospital. The impact just keeps growing and growing and growing. They see that it's okay to talk about this, how forthcoming they are with information and how forthcoming they are to ask for help because we're all struggling. We all are. The whole initiative for Eva is to support uh, employees. How can you be, uh, provide adequate care and 
proper care when you're mentally not well. It's less of a way to replace the important role that people play in the process and more of a wayfinder, meaning more people can find the right help.